You're insane! Hello, and welcome Hello. to the Madhouse, episode 101. I'm Ultimate Spy 53, the host of this podcast, and joining me for this week's episode, I have... I am I exist! Awesome! Yeah. And that brings me to me. I am I am a person, and my name is Kaylee. Um, so, I had a few topics in my list, I feel like it's good to have topics for every week, and so... One topic that I've been having on, on my list for a long time is just the idea of how animation changes with like you know, GQ yeah. anime series. Like for example, Pokemon. When I I know this, we don't really talk about this a whole lot, but like I figured I might as well do an episode on it because it just kind of bugs me. And it's like yeah, Pokemon where you have the Sun and Moon anime, which I haven't seen yet because I'm still in X Y, but like they changed it completely, and they had the same voice actors, and it's just like it's. Ugh, it bothers me when this happens. It's like, why do that they need sounds, to change the animation, like, completely? Ugh. Sounds kind of like Winx Club. I, I, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I have to backtrack a little bit. Um, I used to watch this show called Winx Club hmm. when I was little, and I loved the show. But then, the, like, after, like, the first three seasons or so, the, yeah. the whole thing just, like, changed. They went from 2D to, like, 3D animation, oh which just yeah, and it was just the weirdest thing. I mean, I wasn't necessarily, like, against it. It just looked really weird. Yeah. And, you know, and yeah, totally. I, that kind of sounds like that. Yeah, I, it's just like the, you have the, you know, the first, like, what, 19 seasons of Pokemon were all in the same style. And then, I mean, of course, the, the you know, animation art changed after a while, because, like, you know, the trees got more realistic, and, and the characters got more realistic, but, like, the, the art style in general... Looked mm -hmm. like it was an actual anime. Like it looked like more like what you've seen in an actual anime. Pokemon mm -hmm. anime has a very special art style. So when they changed it, it just felt so weird. I mean, I haven't seen it yet. I've seen like the trailer. That was it. And it was oh, like, yeah. and I think I watched like the a few like a few seconds of the anime, actual the actual anime. And I'm like, oh wait, that's the same voice actor that's always voiced Ash. It's like the, I don't know the season eight or something. Or se yeah, whatever. Like certain Nintendo who does the voice of Ash now. Same voice actor. It's like, but. Ash looks very different. It's so weird. Well, I mean, fuck, finally. Yeah, and then of course, like Ben 10, same thing happened there, where they, I think Omniverse, they changed the art style completely. Same voice actor, and then they rebooted Ben 10 with a new series. Again, change art style. It's like, why can't they just stick to one art style? <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Oh Maybe because God. profit. I guess so. And then yeah. a similar thing happened where the, you have a you have a you have a movie, and then they they change the art style like that, like a like. Well, not really an example, but like a, I guess an example, like, like, Hatch and Dragon, they give the same art style, makes sense, and then you have something like Tangled, where they change the art style from 3D to 2D. That doesn't make any sense. Mm. Why would you do that? You don't just take a, sh a movie and, and, and convert it into a different dimension, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, they did that with, uh, with the, uh, I remember the Timmy Jimmy Power Hour thing, they had like two different animation styles in the entire crossover, and that makes sense, but, I don't know, I just feel like it was... It was weird how they a lot of the animated shows do that where they change the art style and it just makes it just makes it weirder, you know? Like Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm I don't know. I just you know, it's it's kind of like I, I I don't it's just I don't really know how I feel about that. Yeah. Honestly. It's not that I'm against it. Me neither, I'm not against I, it. At I, all. I just yeah. I just don't know how I feel yeah. about that. I mean, you know, you get used to this one style for, you know, however many years and yeah. then it suddenly changes, yeah. it's like <laughs> Yeah. It, it, it kind of reminds me. It kind of reminds me of um, when I was younger. Mm -hmm. When I was a young kid, I used to watch uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Right? What was that? Oh my Thomas god, I loved that show. I, I watched it sometimes too. It used I, to be models, like oh, these yeah. actual physical models. Huh. Oh but yeah. Two thousand early twenty two, so it became just you know computer generated or whatever. Yeah, I, uh, you know, you know, that reminds me of um this really this mini thing. Um my sixth grade uh teacher, her hmm. kids used to watch Thomas the Tank your kids watch Thomas oh, the Tank show. Engine. I was confused. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So she her kids watched it and I guess they loved the show because they would be they would like use because um, it's a British show. They would yeah. use, like, Mommy, why do you have your cross face on when they talk to her? 
because like like he told me they do that. It, it, it is just really cute. I had to mention yeah, that. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that, that's really wild. I've never think about that. But I wonder what they would think about that. Yeah, totally. Mm. I mean, like an example of another show that had the same thing happen where um, where the art style changed. Not too much, but very. You could tell it was a different art style, and that was uh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob, like the first three seasons of it were all oh, celebration. Yeah. It just looked. It looked you know, young, and then, like, you have the next few seasons, like, it's very, they've gotten better at, at making the technology work with them so they can make it, you know, better episodes. You can tell that the animation is, like, using some kind of different animation that you changed. It's like, what happened? It's like, Splinter a little different now. I mean, he, you can, you can tell it's, it, they changed it. And, yeah. I don't know, it's, it's, it's just like, I noticed. So you don't really notice, it's like, oh, well, the actual changed. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, like, Pokemon is an example yeah. I was talking about earlier where the you have, like, the arts, the actual art, like, you know, the trees become more realistic, the buildings become more realistic, all that, all that stuff, it becomes more, you have more art to work with. Uh, the character models in general, the duty models, they're exactly the same. I mean, they look, I wonder they if they did crude. that with, uh, with, I wonder if they did that with, uh, Code Lyoko, what was it called? Evolution? Because I, I remember the OG Code Lyoko, it was, yeah. like, to the, you know, a certain style, um, wasn't quite like the Clone Wars, except the the two, the opening Clone Wars actually it was nothing like those. It was more <laughs> like how the fuck do I describe this? Um, it was it was kind of like it was sort of like Pokemon, yeah. except the lines were softer and you know and all that. And then I mean you know you had it when they went into Lyoko, like they had the 3D and crap. But <laughs> I remember uh, like seeing like Code Lyoko, like I remember the music changed, mm. and I think the the animation might have changed too, but I can't remember. It's been yeah. like forever since I've but watched Code thing Lyoko. With, I used with to love the it, so. animation comes the voice actors. They change. Like when when Ash went from Veronica Taylor had like two different voices. Like I don't know, I, no, because Veronica Taylor, Taylor was the voice actor who who uh, who voiced Ash in the first seven seasons of Pokemon, I think it was. And then like I think the the first season of Pokemon. Her voice was, it, it changed. Like she used two different voices. Like it started to use this very, very young voice, and then it kind of got a little more squeaky. You could tell it was different because I think I think at that point she had got started to okay, I'm gonna make my voice a little bit, a little bit different. So that's why her voice changed a little bit to make it a little, a little. I can't really explain. It. It's hard to explain. You have to look at an episode. Like it changed it a little bit, and then they finally retire her. And it's like one of the things where you see another episode of the show, it's like, wait, what happened to the character? Why is their voice different? And it's kind of like all, all these shows where you have different actors for their, to have a place of, like, James from Team Rocket, his voice changed drastically. Brock's voice changed a little bit, it was more deeper. And so I feel like that's, it impacts cartoon shows when you have a voice change, right? Yeah, like, it's you like, can notice. You can notice when, you like, notice like, what a, happens. like, when, uh, I think yeah. it was the special, the Mirage Pokemon episode was like where they where they found Mirage Pokemon, and it was the first ep episode where a it was one time voice actor they just went, did one episode, and after that they finally they completely changed. Like I think it was the it was the first season or first episode of I think it was Battle Frontier Pokemon, that was the first episode where Ash's voice was just like started to change because they had hired a new voice actor, and it's like what happened to Ash? <laughs> Finally. What right. the hell? <laughs> it's about time Ash stopped being freaking ten. Ten, right? You know, it's like... You I know, mean... there's a theory going around that oh, yeah. Ash is ten mm. because of the fact that he actually got into a coma at one point. Do you do you know what theory I'm talking well, about? I've seen a lot of theories about, about Ash's thing. I mean, this is going around the Pokemon about. thing. A little off topic, but... Or, I'm, I was already talking about Pokemon, so it's okay, but like, yeah, I totally... I have seen a lot of theories about, oh, he saw ho which caused him to go to, uh to be in the forever 10, like, oh, it, oh, grants you to eternal happiness. That eternal happiness is being 10 years old, 10 year old forever. I don't really believe the coma theory. That doesn't really make any sense. Like, it doesn't really make, it doesn't really fit with the character of Ash. Um, and there's another theory, well, I mean, there's another theory yeah. that, uh, that season 20, or the, the current season or series of the current era of Pokemon with, with Ash and Sun and Moon is going to be the, the last, last, at, you know the last arc of that character like they're gonna get a new character for the anime which would be weird like having a character be be you know in an animated show that as it says an anime for years and years and years and then suddenly have a like no we're gonna change up the character we're gonna have a new new era of the anime that wouldn't work <laughs> that would just would not work first of all i they think had, it might they had not to try it i don't know like it's it's interesting but i don't think it would really it wouldn't work with the 
with the show itself because Ash is just uh, one of those characters who's we've seen him since he was a young kid and now we've, he's we've, like, so integral to the show that it would be I, mean, I haven't fully caught up with with the anime but like I've seen a little bit of the of the Sun and Moon anime and I'm just like it's the same exact character same exact voice actor and yet it's a completely different style of animation and just I don't know it's weird when, when you when you change your style, animation style especially if it's like a if it's a movie you change the, the animation style it's the same thing with you know voice acting or whatever. Voice acting is very key to that because if you change an animation style, but you don't change the voice acting, it just sounds wrong. You know, it's like, what the hell happened? It's like, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but like, voice acting is very important to a show. When you change a voice actor, it just sounds wrong. You know, it, mm. it, it takes time to get used to. It's like, what happened to this character? Why are they why are they different suddenly? Um, I uh, personally, I think that it sounds wrong unless it's done right. Yeah, totally. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like a, you can have a voice actor change and it still be good. Yeah. You just have to make sure it's the right one. Like, you know, like you a can't good just pickle any is, old uh... voice. Like, you couldn't pick freaking uh, Christine Ebersole for <laughs> the one who, for Jesse's voice and expect that to work. Because, yeah. let me just tell you right now, Christine Ebersole's voice is on a whole different level. If you've heard After All, then you'll know what I'm talking about. So, but, what, what voice actor are you talking about? Christine Ebersole. Who voiced, uh... Uh, she, um, she was in Les Miserables, I think. Okay. Les Mis. And, uh, and, yeah, uh, her song After All, uh, I think was from that, and it's really good, but... Okay. Yeah, I don't, yeah, you couldn't pick her for, like, uh, Jess from Team Rocket, because, yeah, yeah. that's, that's just one more. Yeah, I don't know, like, like, uh... Like, you just need the right voice actor. It doesn't mean she's a yeah. bad voice actor, because I, because, totally. I mean, I love her, but... Yeah. I mean, there was just, just a, She's just not right. There was a Pokemon movie that came, I think it was the 20th anniversary, it was, like, a special one. I don't think it was even connected, it was even connected to, like, Nintendo Animation animation style to the, uh, main series, but it was a Pokemon movie, and it was, like, it, it had, uh, you know, I think it was the same voice actor for Ash, and the same, same animation style as the previous season, not the new season. It was, like, a, it was the same voice, you know, same voice and same animation style as the previous 19th seasons. Like, they didn't use the new one. And, weirdly enough, I didn't see the, I, I mean, first of all, I, didn't, I hadn't seen it yet. I've only seen, an, like, an unnecessary championship version of it, which was hilarious. But, Pikachu in that particular episode, or special, talks. When you give a character a voice... That like a character that doesn't have need to, that, that doesn't talk at all, or it says his own name, and you give it a human voice. It just sounds wrong. It's just, ugh. Like <laughs> no. what? Like who are we talking about now? In the it was a Pokemon movie, twenty the twentieth Pokemon movie, and at the very end of that Pokemon movie, which I haven't seen yet, uh, they had a they given a uh, Pikachu a voice, like an actual human voice, and it just sounds wrong. Like I can understand the Mr. the Mr. Dungeon Pokemon series, like they made it like a. Special animated animated Mr. Dungeon series. When is Pikachu a, ever gonna evolve into Raichu? I think that, that, that was a decision made by the character Ash because he doesn't he didn't really want to change um, Pikachu. But like also another thing with with, with uh, animation style is and we're still, I'm still talking about the Pokemon thing is that Pikachu changed a lot. Like if you notice that he got progressively thinner. <laughs> As the show went on. Like, he lost a lot of weight. I don't know if you know that, but, like, he was, like, he went, episode one of Pokemon, he hey, was, like, fat, up. and then he went he to... He got this. fit. <laughs> he got fit? <laughs> Holy battles got him to really get yeah, lose weight. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag glow up. Yeah. Hashtag oh, glow yeah. up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, um, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> like, yeah, I, 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 I can't... So, so I said that he glowed up. I can't even remember when he changed the, when that when that when he said it's like oh we're gonna we're gonna change how Pikachu looks now. It just looks wrong. I mean it's it's a change in animation, but like it's so weird when they when they do that. Um, but I don't know. Like I feel like when especially like you know eyes, eyes are a big thing. I'm really paying attention to, to eye style with animated shows. Like when they changed, if you remember uh, the the show Ben Ten, they changed the art style. In Omniverse, and they changed ben, uh, Max Tennyson, who's the grandpa on that show, to just have little, little slits, little, uh, literally have like slits. His eyes were little, literally black dots, and it looks. So what weird. I want to know is where the hell did he get that bionic arm from? Wait, what? Uh, grandpa Max. Bionic arm. Yeah, I remember in one of the movies he got a freaking not movie, but one of the things he got a freaking bionic arm. I don't the hell? remember him getting a bionic arm. I uh, it's like 
it's been forever since I've watched this show, but <laughs> it, it was like, it was, uh, it wasn't, it was like the, where, where Matt, where, uh, Ben was actually the dad, and he had a, gr and he had a son. I'm sorry, I don't recall that one. I don't, I don't remember, but, uh. Yeah. Yeah, like it was, it was weird because in the there. in the Omniverse yeah. series, you have all these characters have uh, different like uh, different like eyes. Um, like their all their eyes are like green. Uh, what? So, oh, sorry. I, I think that Pikachu just wants to go first. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, it was that was like a an era where they're like, you know, what, we're gonna change Pikachu. It's, we're gonna live, give him some some like, health pills and let him. We're gonna make him hashtag glow up. We're gonna it's like, glow okay, up. animators. Fix him. Like, okay, we'll, we'll make him a little bit, a little bit, a little bit uh, slimmer. <laughs> yeah, that was how it well, I, that, oh, I was. Oh, yeah. Just like, yeah, that that totally happened. It was weird. But yeah, um, it's just like, like you know, when, when you have, like, you know, Omniverse, Ben's eyes became. All, all the characters' eyes became just green, mostly green. And then you have Max, who has, like, literally slit, like, little black rectangles for eyes. It just looks so weird. I don't know. A lot of, I, think, I think eyes are really important. Like a lot of the Pokemon anime, you have people with don't don't close their own open their eyes. It's just yeah, Brock. He needs an example. He doesn't <laughs> open his eyes except for maybe a, a couple of times, and it's like, how hard is okay. it to animate eyes? Seriously. I had to mention Brock there. I'm sorry because I'm Seriously, that's like it's so weird, and you have like, I don't know. It's 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 like. A weird thing when you, when you have an animation style change because then you have to like figure out how you're gonna tell a story. Like when you when you have a when you have an anima animated show like the like Pokemon for example, and then you change the, the animation style, yeah. but you continue the story. It just I don't know. It's Sorry weird. I mean, that. I don't think it's a terrible thing. I just think it's 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 weird. People people okay, don't expect okay. it. It's like oh we're gonna change the animation style and it's gonna be it's gonna continue the Avengers of Lost It's Like okay, can you explain why? It's like. Nope, we're not gonna explain anything. We're just gonna do it because we can. And I mean, I feel like that was a dumb draw from the Pokemon anime when they changed everything. They just changed it completely and it messed everything up because I feel like the the anime follows the games where every new game that comes out, they felt they have a an arc or actually couch a new event doing with the land or you know every you know arc of, of the of the Pokemon anime is based off the game or whatever. And with the anime, like any anime, you have the or you have the art style change. And I just it just bugs out it just bugs the hell out of me. Like, example, a, a show that I'll never watch because first of all I haven't seen, I haven't finished watching the original show and the second show is terrible. Teen Titans Go. Problem with this with, with, Go. with this uh, particular series is that everyone hates it, including me because I haven't seen a bit of it. I've seen like a little bit of it. It's ter it's one of the worst ever rebooted shows out there, and the animation style is awful. The characters seem to be that they're they're sound like their original counterparts, and they're making they're getting their movie. How can that even happen? How can you have that show that's really good, okay, okay, change Tom, animation Tom, style, Tom, and then Tom, have a movie? Tom, 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 <laughs> breathe, okay? Don't it's knock like, it come on. until you try it. All right. We can't say that you can't say that Teen Titans Go is bad unless you've actually seen enough of it to determine that. Now True. I have seen some Teen Titans Go, and I have to say. I liked the I liked the other Teen Titans better. Yeah. But this isn't necessarily bad necessarily. Yeah. I mean, it's different, but it's not bad. And I can see a good Teen Titans movie actually happening as long as they don't go the route of Bliss, the fourth Powerpuff Girl, because I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Yeah. And um, I just I, I I don't just don't knock it till you try it. You need yeah. to actually see the show before you can t say this is bad. Well, I mean, like, Don't the, give in to the mob mentality, dude. I mean, I haven't actually finished the uh, the original show because I'm only I have like the I have most of the seasons on my computer because I found those online and I haven't finished the first season yet. But like, when they change when they when they change an animation style and then the, and then like they make it they make all the care I mean, what I've heard at least and they, all the characters have you know act nothing like the original you know original amazing kind of arts did. And then you have, you have like, yeah, we're, this show is so popular, we're going to make a movie out of it. It's just like, wow. <laughs> At that point, I'm like, wow. I'm surprised they haven't made a Ben 10 movie out of that. That's actually good. But they made a Ben 10 uh, movie out, out of the shows. They were okay, but they weren't great. And so when you make a, when you make, when you change an animation style like that, it's just, it ruins it for you. It ruins a lot, a lot of really, really good shows for you. And that's the problem with it, is that. I, I don't. Art, I don't think art is really important when you're when you're making a show, especially if you 
like if you for example you switch you switch to a different style of, of what you animated but it's the same style like it's the same art i can understand like like you know like very odd parents and, and spongebob changed their animation when they went from hand-drawn to cell animation make it easier because they had to not take they had the they upgrade the technology i get that part and that you can tell the automation changed we understand how that happened just because it was a new era but i don't know like it feels i feel like as time goes on animation styles change so sometimes just slowly, just slightly because you know let's say but let's say trees look very crappy and as, as you know the show goes on they become more you know glistening and way better and more look better looking and just a lot more detailed but when you when you when you, we can completely change it, it just it just makes it i don't know not hard to watch just like it's it's different especially if you have a show that continues the story but with a different animation style or a movie where you you, you decide to make a a spin-off movie like series thing and they said to change the animation style like tangled they made, they made a a i think even bigger six doing the same thing with it with a the original movie was actually 3d but the tv show that you're basing it off was actually gonna be a 2d animation it just feels hmm. i don't know weird you know <laughs> I, I've heard of that, and again, not sure how I feel about it because I haven't seen it. Right. But I, I'm not against it. How about you, Stephen? What do you think of this? I think it's um. <laughs> so I, I think the animation style changed entirely. Interesting. Like I just said with the Thomas thing, that it yeah. changed to CGI. I and mean, with SpongeBob, there's also a notable change. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And um, I, I, I think it mostly has to do with, well, there's, there's probably, there's multiple different reasons why they could be doing it. Yeah. One of them is financial. It could be, you know, saving money. Maybe yeah. as the show starts losing money, whatever. And another is, um, maybe they just want to try and do things. Or go, hey, how about we try this new thing? It might grab more people. It might, you know, put more interest back into, you know, the show or movie yeah. or whatever. Or show, yeah. Yeah, definitely. No. Definitely. Yeah, and that's the thing with, with, with shows is whether it be voice acting, whether it be the, the way you, you animate it, it's just so unusual when they, when they do that. It's like they're going to decide to just do this because they want to, because fans want to have a different style. It just makes it a lot harder to tell a story with that because you're so used to seeing these characters on TV for years and years and years, and when they said to change it, to change it completely, just it's weird and just unnatural and it doesn't really fit with the with the show itself again tom don't knock it till you try it course, I'm, not, I'm not completely denying it's a horrible idea i just feel like you know some shows when they would have been better off so i agree on that point not natural and i feel like it doesn't always work but again I, i'm not don't judge it because i haven't seen all those, all those shows that change that change with with the animation or the graphics i think it's mainly the i think it's mainly you know, when you have a show that's been going on for years and years and years and you have a and you have more technology available to, you can graphically change like oh you can make the 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 art feel a little more you know organic and you know detailed because a lot of a lot of cartoon shows have changed their animation style a lot more and they've gotten a lot better at it and uh i feel like it's really important that's why a lot of a lot of shows have been rebooted or they have been remade or whatnot and it's 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 definitely interesting but i just feel like it bugs me when i when i see a, a new show and the animation style is different or voice acting again a very important part of animation but when it comes to a uh, a show or a movie or whatever when you have a different voice actor step in to, to take the role sometimes it's not all that bad like toy story had it where they they had a different voice actor it, it was because all oh, the act previously voicing that character died so they had to call it another person and that was it wasn't a bad thing because you can hardly tell it was different. Or Dash, that actor got older, too old to play the character, so they call in for another actor who sounds... You can't even tell it's a different voice actor. But I feel like a lot of shows, when they change the voice actor, it's... I don't know, it's weird, because they don't really expect it, you know? And that's the thing about about about, uh, about animation, is that when you change it... When you change how, how a character sound, sounds like, it affects that show people are suddenly really mad at like oh you changed the voice actor for this character why oh why that's horrible to do but that's just i mean that's like my opinion really i don't know what do you guys think of this whole thing like with the especially with, with, with voice acting well i personally so um 
me personally, I don't. I'm a, I'm a more of a don't knock until you try it type of person. Yeah. You know, I don't see a reason to complain about something like that until I've actually seen it. You know, even but you know, even I have my gripes, my like you know gripes with the yeah. Clone Wars. Yeah. Like I'm not like a huge fan of um, Mace's design and stuff like that. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, I'm not about to be that person that's like, oh my god, you know, they ruined the show because Mace looks. I mean, you know, the Clone Wars is, like, yeah. the best thing in the world. I, I love it. Yeah. I just, you know, nothing's perfect, and I, I would just roll with it. Like, if it's good, then there's no problem with that. Yeah, totally. I mean, you like know, the, just don't knock it till you try That's the thing with, with Star Wars, and this has to do, it's just, this also goes into the idea of, you know, changing things with, with, with shows. And, and Star Wars, with their shows, with their animation shows... It, it, they they had done something different, and like you had the you had the Clone Wars series from 2003 or whatever it came out. It had it was well out from 2D, and then they changed. They had a, a new version of that show in 2008 with 3D animation, and then you have you know things like where, where the voice actors from the movies kind of voice a character. Like you have a you have the guy who who played Bail Organa voice, comes back comes to I think he comes he came back to voice the his character in the, in the animated show. You have the kid who played Boba Fett in the Episode two, you came back to voice his own, his, his character. Mm -hmm. You have Billy Williams, who came back to voice his character. I think in Rebels. So it, it, it also really it's really fun to see a, you know a, a an actor come back to voice a character they previously played on screen. And I think yeah, that's, that's that super is cool. really nice. That's really cool when you have a when you have a change like that. It's like oh, we're gonna call in this guy to to voice this thing. That's awesome. You know, it's like really cool. Like you know when, when mm -hmm. Liam Neeson came to voice Qui Gon in an episode of Clone Wars, I was like, oh my god, I, I yes. I'm like, I'm like, yes. what? <laughs> I'm like, no, wait, that, that, that's, that's Liam Neeson, he's, he's back, because <laughs> it's one of my favorite he's characters, of, he's like, to be, I mean, in, in my top three characters, Star Wars, we got Qui-Gon second, Obi-Wan first, okay, wait, maybe I, I gotta reorder that, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, Luke, right there, <laughs> heck yeah, all my favorite characters, and to see those, see at least one of those characters be brought back to life with, the same the same actor to voice the character is especially when you when you have a, awesome. a change in in, in in art style and you go from a live action to animation you have the same actor it's so cool right and this, it's, that's the, and, and of course we're on the we're on the same idea of how things change where you have an actor come back to voice a character that they previously put on screen and that's a super amazing opportunity for for that actor because you it's expect awesome. that like how can you expect how how do you how how else do you explain things like that? Like all the stuff, or or actors doing a very good impression of what a character that that character would be, would, would be like in that in that in that movie, like Star Wars with J, with a uh, mm -hmm. General Taylor, he did a really good job of Obi Wan, even though it wasn't completely what 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 Ian McGregor did in episodes yeah. two, one, mm -hmm. two, three. <laughs> so. Yeah, I I am a fan of Clone Wars Obi Wan. I like how he sounds. I like I like it. Like that is. That is Obi Wan right there. Yeah. It will never top Ellen McGregor, but it is Obi Wan. I mean, another thing with with Star Wars, and this is again on the subject of, of how you know character design is going for. I mean, I we kind of we've kind of screwed, screwed over the whole animation style change, but I feel like the design of, of characters looks and stuff like that in terms of what they wear, like how in in uh, Episode Two we went from Episode Two to Clone Wars, and you had. Obi Wan with his robe, and then go from to the Clone Wars series where he has armor. It's like yeah, I like okay, that. Okay, that was a very interesting choice because I understand why they did it. Like, oh, it's a war. Yeah, he has war. more armor. Yes, he. Had, I think he, I think did he had robes in some of the episodes or did he not? Like actual like cloak. I don't know if he did. Or they not. I can't some of them have cloaks and some of them don't. Like you'll remember Shakti, she had a cloak. You'll remember. Um, well, I'm talking about Obi Wan. Like, did, did, I don't Obi think... did Obi Wan like have a cloak in the in the animated show, or was it just armor? Uh, oh no, oh three Clone Wars. Oh no, he definitely had it. I'm in, talking about the the, the the O eight, twenty eight. Oh, 08? Um. Or was it just armor? Because that would make sense. He, I, I don't think he, I don't remember it, but I haven't watched all of the Clone Wars. He yeah. might have, but that's I know another, Mace. That's another thing I about Mace you know, about characters that appear in in, in, uh, in animated shows. Where they change their clothes, they decide okay, this character appeared in this in this movie, for example, episode two of Star Wars. 
with you know, Jedi robes and stuff like that. And then you have this Clone Wars series that, that takes place after that movie, but now he has armor. And then you go from that episode to episode three, now you're back in the cloak again. Like, that's the thing with, with, with art style change and costume change. It's important to have a, to have the same costume as the, you know, the, the movie or whatever. That's really important. For I, I don't think it is. I mean, you know, you gotta remember, the Clone Wars took place over, like, three years. Yeah. And they were in a freaking war. <laughs> you know, they're not going, and, you know, these guys were on the front lines. Like, I mean, you know, if Shaq T had armor on, I mean, I guess that would, I don't, that wouldn't make much sense, but, you know, it makes sense for Obi-Wan and um Anakin to you know not have the ropes because these guys were like on the front lines of the yeah. war you got to remember it's that true. so obviously a robe would be rather impractical but you know yeah. even then they changed up their outfits a bit like they had a poncho at one point and <laughs> yeah, true. you know but yeah it, it doesn't I, I like it I like the fact that they yeah. didn't have robes because it the, the cloak because it makes sense and they have the rest of it I mean they had, they had the, the tunic the right cloak. they had like the tunic what? They had like a tunic, right? Yeah, they had the tunic, they had the, the, the hair. inner, you know, the, the stuff, but they just didn't have the cloak. Like, yeah. the, yeah, and I like that they didn't, because it makes sense that they don't yeah, have definitely. it. Yeah, definitely, and I feel like with a lot of, a lot of shows that do that, where they, they change, every, where they change, like, I think what it all boils down to is when a cartoon show, like, for example, Pokemon, Benton, or, or Star Wars The Clone Wars, where they, they change too much of it when you change too much of a show when you like step into a new era or whatever or you get to the point where it's like okay we're, we're this voice actor is their their contracts expired i probably what's probably what happened to a lot of voice actors their contract expired they're like you know i want to move on other things let's just let's just change the voice actor we're not going to even explain the name we're just going to say boop new voice actor it's like oh but their characters got, got older or whatever I, I don't know but like i feel like when you do too much of a change, like you change too much about a show, it, it feels I don't know weird and, and wrong and unusual and but when when you change like a little bit of it, it's not too bad. Like like the for example the Pokemon thing, again that wasn't I, I feel like it was unusual, but I don't think it was terrible. I think it was interesting. I, I don't think it was a terrible idea to have that happen, but I think it was very interesting to happen. And I feel like when you especially when you have the same voice actor, it's very I don't know like it it. it as long as you keep the voice actor, it's all good. But if you have a different style, it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, you know. Yeah, totally. But uh, and same thing. I'm I want to kind of. I think we've have we done everything with with this topic because I want to talk. I want to talk about a brief thing if we um, wrap up here. I I um Anything I think else? we pretty much covered this topic. Okay. Um. So another thing I wanted to discuss real quick is that. Because The Incredibles 2 is coming out in like a month or so. I'm really excited for it. They finally re are because like you know Lego is a is a company that that makes Lego games. T T, T, T yeah. uh, T Traveler's Tales. They make Lego games. They finally came out with, with a, they're, they're coming out with a Lego Incredibles uh, game. Oh, that's and I'm excited for it because it yeah. looks really good. And they're also compiling um, the first two games because like oh they're making an, a Lego Incredibles 2. That would make sense. That's just, that's just there, and then I think I think it turns out that 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 it, it's now been the beneficial title as Lego The Incredibles 2 or I think Lego Incredibles 2. I'm excited for it. It looks really cool. I'm 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 curious to know what's gonna happen with it because we've never because like aside from like the, the the Underminer video game they made back when the first movie was released, they haven't made an actual like game to it. So I think it's super cool they're making a Lego Incredibles game because that's like never happened before. Like, actually, I feel like a lot of the movie time games for Legos just don't happen as much. I think the last one we got was like, what, Jurassic World? I can't remember, but, uh... They did them for the prequels. Yeah, there's Lego true. games that's, for all that's of That's very those. true, yeah. But yeah, um, guys, what do you think of this, uh, this news? I mean, I, I know I haven't talked, I haven't ever brought up this until now, but I just, like, I just really just now thought about, like, oh, they're making a new game for Lego. What do you guys think? Okay, um, my thing... How are they going to get the powers right? Well, because, I mean, about, there like, is a lot. Lego Marvel, they, they, they got this real stretchability fine, and mm -hmm. full speed, all that stuff. It's, it's, they, you know, think about the past Lego games, but they have superheroes. They're able to do it fine, so, I don't know. Like, how, how about you, Steven? What do you think? I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's me, I, I guess. Me? Yeah. Like, who's going to play it? <laughs> people like, you know, kids, people who like, like the Incredibles game, you know, the Incredibles movies. It's like a, it's like a video game. Yes, yeah, so it's like Lego video game. They're finally. I know, I know what. 
they're I finally like, making it. Play it? Like, it's I'll just play like it. A movie game. I don't know. It makes money. People like the people like the expensive story. People like the be able to play as characters from the movies. That's really the fun part about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. And then they like do like spin offs on it and make it like really funny. Like I remember yeah. uh, the original trilogy game that they made uh, yeah. for Return of the Jedi. And uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> the the um the last part where they had the party, mm -hmm. <laughs> Sidious, um oh, he God. popped up and he and <laughs> I can't do this without laughing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, but they, what he did was he popped up and it was like, hey, force buddies, and, it was, and, they, and then me popped <laughs> up and he was all like, I'll take care of this, and then he straight up freaking, <laughs> he, he, um, he goes and he like just flings Palpatine. Oh God. Flings Palpatine out there and he's all like, this is the second time this week. <laughs> <laughs> and it was wow, hilarious. That's wild. And I, that's what I love about those mo those video games because they add something extra to it. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I feel like the because it's like the first, I think it was like I don't know a month ago or something where I finally learned about this uh, this game because I definitely did not know there was any such thing as a Lego Incredibles uh, game. I mean, there's a lot of Lego, Lego games, but like never like a Disney. I, I don't think this is. I don't think Disney's ever made like an actual Lego game before, like at all. I mean, Marvel is a separate thing, so like they haven't. They haven't made Disney's ever made an actual Lego Lego game. I mean, I'm not counting on the stuff that they own, like Star Wars and Marvel, but Disney has never made an actual Lego game. So this is the first time they're making a Lego game, which is incredible. That's really that's amazing. Yeah, I know. I just I just put a pun there, but I it's like it's hard to talk about the Incredibles without putting the pun incredible on there. It's fine, dude. It's Bad hard puns to do it. The puns are hard to do without making you know, not intentioning it. Um. I guess you could say that it's a that it would be a fitting punishment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys? I really would like to hear your thoughts about about you know, are you excited about this game? When the is is it is a good is it a good time to some for the for? Are, are you? I, I'm. I guess I'm trying to say is like I'm wondering what took so long for them to finally make a Lego game based on a Disney movie. Like they've done it. Uh, other <laughs> movies. Sure, I guess. Like, They've always done like a game based off like other franchises, but never like a Disney uh, property, like an actual Disney, like an original Disney property. Because like I'm not talking about Marvel or or Star Wars. I'm talking about things that Disney actually owns. Um, Disney owns Star Wars now, though. I'm talking about like you know, like before they own everything, before they when they were just like Disney and Pixar. Like uh, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, so sorry, I'm just trying to pin this. I'm now finally attaching the hood to my cloak. Oh, yeah. I have to figure out how to go about it, because, yeah. True. So, um, I honestly, I, I, I'm excited for this. Um, honestly, I don't know why it took them so long to do this. Yeah. I personally think that it might just be that, you know, they they had other movies to do this on. Yeah, totally. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but, I, I, just, I mean, yeah. I am excited for it, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm really super dang excited for it, because I, I, I... I guess I did when I, when I saw the news, I think it was a YouTube video, I'm like, wait, what? Are these serious about this? Like, a Lego Incredibles game? What? Like, you're not just trolling me right now. <laughs> like, you're talking about a non-Marvel superhero Lego game. Yep. Oh my god, I'm, I'm in for it. Give him a take my money. Hell yeah. You know, it's like, I... I... Like, shut up and take my... <laughs> yeah. Shut up and take my Republic credit. <laughs> exactly. Like, they... Something. they, they They've never done this before, and I, like they've never done an actual like an actual Disney. Because I'm talking, when I'm talking about that. I'm talking about the the properties that Disney didn't have. Like they they Disney before there there was like the big company they had like before when they went when they literally just had like Pixar in there though. Like that's the only thing they had, and I didn't expect this. I'm like I'm like wow, Incredibles is one of the best, you know, at least from when when it came out, one of the best superhero movies, and also one of the one of the best like Pixar movies of all time. And mm -hmm. the fact that they're making a, they're finally getting around to making a tying game that combines the first two, is going to be incredibly awesome. I'm really excited for it. I just didn't really think about it that way. Yay. I didn't think about a game based off of this movie that looks amazing. And you know, I'm 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 very curious to see what what they're going to do with with the with the character abilities and stuff like that. Like how they're going to demonstrate that. Like you know, like I mean, the, I mean it's it's pretty obvious what they're gonna do like if you ever played like like a marvel or dc where they've 
they, that you can do abilities pretty well, but like, mm -hmm. for an Incredibles game, it's going to be very unusually different, because this is never done before, like an actual, an original Disney um, Lego game, so, they had a lot of opportunities to actually do that, but they just never got around to it, I'm really, I'm excited for it, I think it's really cool, and, I mean, I don't know anything about it really, but I've seen like the screenshots of all the character lists and all like that, and I'm just kind of, I, I, I think the really exciting thing about, about this is to be able to actually go to the locations from the movies because yeah, I i'm really excited i about haven't seen the incredibles 2 yet but like because it's not out yet but like i'm excited to, to, because when you when you play a lego game you're able to actually go to that to those locations from the movies and play those it's so much fun and right when you play when you're thinking about a lego like, incredibles game there's so many opportunities like you could you could explore minda's house or no right at the mode sorry minda's a character from zelda <laughs> um, Oh no. Edna Mode's house, like her superhero layer thing. I, I want to explore that. I want to see what that's about because that's really cool. When, um, yeah, look that up. Yeah, it's, I, it's just really, it's really cool. I, I want to like explore the different you know locations from both Incredibles games because, well, the fun part about, about Lego games is be able to be able to like have fun in those locations because you always want like oh you want to watch the movies like oh I want to I want to be there. You could in the game. <laughs> Heck yeah! It's like awesome. It's, awesome. it's like it's like you know, zooming around as Iron Man in New York, New York City, and like a Marvel. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> I know, right? But and with Lego like, Incredibles, it. it's like being able to zoom around as Dash in Lego Incredibles. It's like oh, the yeah. best thing ever. Especially if you're a superhero fan like I am, you're you're like nerding out. It's like oh my god, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's like cool, but like uh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm very interested to see where this is going because this is like the first thing I've heard. I'm pretty sure it's one of those things where they where they tie in the game. People are getting tired of it, like oh why, like another another tie in, you know, game Lego game based on a movie. Like why do they do that? Like well, well, well one marketing, two money obviously, and three marketing entertainment. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> too, but like entertainment. But yeah, um, I don't know, Steven, What do you think that, about this whole uh, Incredibles two game? What do you are you gonna play it? Do you think that it's, you know be able to experience know. the Incredibles I mean, world. If I have to, I'll play it. You sound like you're saying that as if you don't want to play it. Yeah, I know. What you're, talking about. you're saying that as if you don't like the Lego games. Like you, like there's so much you can do with Lego games. Seriously, there's a lot you can do with Lego games. I can attest to that. They did an excellent job with the prequel trilogy. Oh yeah. Well, they didn't have voice acting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they did. Oh, well, they should, well, not not the pre, not the prequel trilogy of of that, the, the complete saga didn't have voice acting. Well, I mean. No, they, they did have voice acting. But it was, like, though. not actual, like, dialogue I'm talking about. So, like, it'd be really, it's going to be really cool when they actually had the dialogue from the movies. When they had, like, you know, Elastigirl oh, talking. Yeah, and just, I don't know, what do, what do you think of this idea of, incre of, a, of a Incredibles 2, or, sorry, they're, they're calling it Incredibles 2, they're calling it the Lego Incredibles. What do you think of it? I know you don't really know much about it, and you don't know what you're saying, but, like, what do you think of it as a game? I think it's pretty neat. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool that they're doing that. Would you, would you buy it? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> do you, uh, do you think it's going to be a, a good game? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> it could be, it could be shitty, it could be amazing. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to push know, you. I'm not going to keep pushing you if you don't know. Nobody truly knows right now. It's I mean, best, it only just got game. announced. We don't, we, we don't even have gameplay, I mean. I can't expect more. I can't expect you to answer everything about the game. I really yeah, I know. Gameplay, it's fine. So, I'm just saying, like, just based I, off of what you've heard. It could be bad. It could be good. Yeah, totally. Some games are. Some games based off a movie like the Lego games are not the best, but yeah. again. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that's all I really had this week for topics. Um, there's plenty on my, on my list of future episodes, but for now, it's all that I had. I wanted to. I wanted to really kind of power through them because they're fun to talk about. But uh, yeah. Um. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we wrap, wrap this up? Because that's all I that's all I had really. Um, consider me officially hyped for Solo. Yeah. There yeah. is actually it's already screened actually, which is <laughs> stupid because they should have what? just released it already. They they've screened it yeah, for <laughs> early reactions, but they've it's like it's like literally 15 days before it come, the movie comes out they already have a premiere. It's like come on. What? Ugh. That's just that's ridiculous. <laughs> they haven't released anything. They just like have like early audience reactions, like, oh, what do you think of it? Probably pretty good. They but... already released it in theaters. I thought that wasn't happening until well, the 25th. They, they released the premiere. You know, you know what premiere is, right? They, the premiere... That's something I want to talk about for the, a possible process filmmaking part 3 episode, is premieres and stuff, how they 
they have a release date, but they don't actually release it. They release it early with their mares, and then people get to see it early. Ugh. But, um, yeah, I, I definitely think it, this whole is going to be a good movie. I will, I'm, I'm admitting defeat. Rogue One, I'm going to have to see, because even though I said my it wait, it's going to wait, I've been told that I, that I should go ahead and just see it, and just go, and then if I want to see it again, when I comes to my, I have a whole journey of mine, where I want to go back to see the earliest parts of Star Wars, and Rogue One is, like, a, on my list, so I might have to watch it, just because it's a Star Wars movie, and I should probably watch it, so. You should watch it, it was I'm like, awesome. I'm like, oh, I should wait until, until, you know, I see, I, I get caught up, but you know what, that, how long else going to take? Probably years to get caught up, so I probably should get out of my way. Probably, like, yeah, that's take the, care they, of Rogue One. You made the new canon for a reason, dude. It's like, you can watch it once, and then go back to your, your like, Star Journey, and then come back to it again. It's not hard, you just watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I might want to just get over with and just so I have like a ninth movie that I've seen in the Star Wars universe to see until episode yeah. until until. And then episode, episode nine is coming out in like 2019. And then Obi Wan Kenobi has been like reportedly being shot in spring. It's it's being shot and I'm like so excited because freaking because Kenobi. I was so disappointed when when my brother told me that that they would that it was like a, a unofficial Ooh. announcement. Remember that podcast? It was okay, like, but but. Is it being cast as Ellen McGregor? Is Ellen McGregor Obi Wan Kenobi? Oh, I hope so. I mean, when he the last here's the thing: the last couple of times that I've seen a video of him, yeah, nobody when, else but when, an, him. when 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 he's when, when, Obi Wan guys, for the job. When when an act when an, um when a fans asked him about this, so it's like a couple of times <laughs> he said, "I don't know anything. I don't know anything about it, but if." They want me to do it. I'd love to play them again. Or I think that there was another one where it was like it's an award ceremony, and they're like, "Hey, it's about about the Obo movie." He's like, "I don't know any more than you do, but if they ask me to do it, I would love to play them again." He's saying he, has the full he would Obi-Wan love to play the character again. All, he has the makeup, and he, he looks like like the there's actually one. a screenshot of him working out with, with the beard. And considering the actors actually said that, yes, this I would love Obi-Wan to play the character again. For all of us, this is Obi-Wan it's like for all Disney of us. has the proper so to cast him. The hey. fact that I, I, I keep saying this over and over again, we we have brought bring this up. Like it's like the fact that the actor himself has said that. Well, obviously he doesn't know anything about the movie, but like the fact that he says he he'd love to play the character again. That's good. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. really good news because he's one of my favorite one of my favorite characters in the in the, in the Star Wars uh, franchise or Same. universe or galaxy or whatever. He almost tops Qui Gon. <laughs> almost, almost, yeah. almost, almost. I don't Qui-Gon care about, the, really about those prequel hitters. I don't think hitters. anybody's going to be able to top Qui-Gon. I don't care about those prequel hitters. Prequels rule. <laughs> right? They're the best. They I don't the care what people say about what them. Star Wars is supposed to be. It's Star Wars! <laughs> Heck yeah. Anyway, um, so that's all we had for, for this episode. Again, last um, time I'm going to say this. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we wrap up? Or so I think we pretty much covered everything. Steven, anything? Eh, not really. I think we covered basically everything okay. that you want to talk about. Alright, well, I mean, that's all I had, so, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening to this episode yeah. of The Madhouse. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. We all really appreciate the support. And, if you're new to this channel, yeah, subscribe for more episodes of this podcast and other series uh-huh. I do. Also, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted when new episodes of this podcast come out, and we will be back next time with another episode. Alright, bye-bye. May the force be with you all.